Hey y'all, before I get to today's layout share, I want to show you this new tool that I bought. It's new to me, I don't know when it came out, but I think it's going to be my new favorite tool and it is inexpensive and it is a T-square ruler. Okay, this is was my current T-square ruler and I'm always losing it because it's clear. And I'm always knocking things off of this side of my uh, table. This tabletop slides out um, from a butcher block. And I'm always knocking it over. And I stepped on it and broke a piece of the tee off. It still works, but um, I need a new one. Well, my friend Debbie over at Love RTS. Facebook group showed a new T-square ruler that she got and I saw it and of course I had to have one too because you know how that is <laughs> and it is a Martha Stewart T-square ruler and here's the packaging that it comes in it was $12.99 but of course you're going to use a coupon for it and this is the ruler and it's pretty cool because it comes in two pieces that you take apart this piece has protrusions at the top the bottom and the middle and then this piece has your inserts your holes that you insert those into and so you just take it and pop it on and I think I popped it on the wrong way it on the right way and there you go you have a t-square ruler now this is my new t-square ruler this is my old t-square ruler look at that it is pretty awesome and i can't wait to try it out so you can configure it so you have one of those uh, angle tools if you need that um, you can even put it in the middle and this is great. I think if you want to make a grid it really would help You know line that up for your grid spaces So that is it my new tool that I am so excited to play with So um, If you're in need of one I suggest you give this one a try Okay, so now on to my layout Okay, for this layout, I used a photo from a 35 millimeter slide that I scanned in of my mother from 1969, and here is my layout. Now, I made this using a scrapbook generation sketch, and it was one from one of their um, We Create Crops. It was for six by six paper pads and uh, originally it was a two page layout, but I just had the one photo. So I made it a one page photo, but uh, usually on international scrapbook day, they'll release the uh, sketches from the classes that they teach at their crops. Um, they make them available for purchase. At least they have the past couple of years. So this is one of them that I bought and I don't remember from which year it was from. But here's the photo of my mom. And check out that 1969 hairdo. <laughs> that just tickles me. Um, so what I did was I took various 6x6 six six paper pads that had blues in them. And so I cut um, cut them into one and a half by one and a half inch squares and um, added an edging around my uh, craft card stock here. And I added some craft color and there's just a little pop of pink in it too. Now, when you're using a lot of different um, papers, one way to make them cohesive is to do a little inking around the edges, and I did that. You can see I did that. This had some distressing on it already, but I just kind of inked around all of my edges, and that just helps bring, bring it together a little bit more. And then for my title, I just used 
Look at that. My camera's possessed. It keeps going in and out of focus. Uh, for my title, I used raw chipboard numbers that used to be real popular back in the day. And I glued a piece of pattern paper to the top of them and cut them out the best that I could. And it was a little bit messy, so to help cover that up, I took the same ink pad that I used to distress around my edges and just turned the letters upside down and lightly pushed it onto my ink pad to kind of give it this little uh, distressed look. These darker blue splotches, splotches that's just ink. Then I did some stitching around the edge of my uh, border here. I did two layers and it did take quite a little bit of time because I did, uh, my pictures weren't covering anything up. So I had to stitch around the whole edge twice. And as you can see from the back side, it's easier to see that was quite a bit of stitching. Oh, I wish it would stop doing that. Look at that. Um, but I don't mind stitching, so I enjoy it. But if you are not a stitcher, you can just draw a box around instead of stitching. You know, you could draw a couple of boxes around it with a ruler. Or you can do faux stitching by taking a pen and just drawing dash lines. Or you could even draw little X's to... Uh, mimic a cross stitch so you don't have to pull out a needle and thread if that is not your thing or you could even sew around it but I am awful with a sewing machine so I'd rather hand stitch than machine stitch so behind my photo I just took two pieces of um, that six by six papers this polka dotted one and then this floral here and just kind of layered it and put it on my photo this blue right here is part of uh, the wall that's not a background piece of paper even though it looks like it might be like a little border strip it's not and these are I believe by Sizzix these flower dies I really love them and I just punched out uh, a lot of them and layered them up as you see I think they came in uh, three different sizes so I just kind of mixed and matched some and then these leaves came from a different set, from a Tim Holtz set, because these flower dies did not have any leaves with them. So I punched those, not punch, die cut, I'm sorry. I die cut all of that. If I said punch, I meant die cut. And then um, dug out some old Prima flowers and leaves and put a leaf here and up here. And then just um, splattered my page kind of with a few of the smaller Prima flowers and some leaves and added enamel dots. And that is basically my layout. Um, it's pretty simple design-wise, but I really like how it turned out. And I really didn't have a lot to journal on it. I just wrote Mama in the Philippines because I was like less than one one at the time this photo was taken. So... I really didn't have anything I could journal about it. But when I showed the picture to my sister, she said, I remember that dress. She said, uh, I used to play in it. And she said, and Mama had a green one too. So I may write that on the back of my layout somewhere just as a, a little story to add in case anybody ever pulled it out of the page protector to look at it. But uh, as far as my layout, that is it. And... Thank y'all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.